in this video I'm gonna show you one of my favorite setups it's been one of my favorite setups all year long for being able to beat 30 yard cloud flats out of the meta offense bunch formation um, in Madden 22 now this formation can be found in a lot of almost every playbook in this game but the one I'm gonna be talking about today is Detroit but you could apply this to any um, bunch that has this play that we're gonna be talking about um, I'm gonna show you again how to get over the top of 30 yard cloud flats and uh, why do you need to get over 30 yard cloud flats because it's the deepest um, kind of base zone in the game that somebody can play and the play that we're gonna be taking a look at today is from mesh post now if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive ebook or all of my ebooks you get everything by signing up for our patreon we've been putting pumping out the ebooks this year over 20 five offensive and defensive ebooks in addition to that we also have several strategy videos kind of walk you through certain concepts that can apply to multiple formations the best tactics in the game if you want to learn all of that stuff the link to our patreon is in the description completely walks you through everything but for now let's jump into the mesh post and walk you through one of my favorite concepts so i'm on the short side of the field real quick i want to show you one quick tip with this post route this is a lab tip and what I mean by a lab tip is this is a great way to lab your routes. You want to lab your routes on both hash marks. And so just watch this post route to Lazard. All I'm going to do is streak Devontae Adams block and I'm going to max protect it. I just want to watch the post route. And I want you to see how far, how deep it'll run. And what you'll see here is this is a 30 yard cloud. Notice that it stops running and then it kind of continues to run. And that is... Um, really really important because what we want to do with this is we actually want to run this with our bunch um, to the short or I'm sorry uh, with our bunch formation our three wide receivers uh, to the wide side of the field so I'll show you kind of an example um, if I move the ball to the left hash uh, to me that's the best way to run this play because what you'll notice is if I run this concept again you're going to notice now that the receiver won't stop running he'll actually get over the top and get that nice sideline uh, type of animation that we like so again just simple and i just want you to watch this post you'll see he's going to run and if i pass like that straight up he's going to get over the top of that zone okay now we're going to build around that concept and share with you some really cool things that you can do um, from this and really one of my favorite, you know, kind of ways to beat cover two. So one of my favorite things to do with this offense is um, I love it's basically your check down game. And uh, what I like to do here uh, is I actually like to motion about a scantling to the right side of the screen or to the left side of the screen and put him on a streak. Now, why do I like to do that? He's going to be my clear out route. Uh, for this and then I'm actually gonna have two check downs kind of rolled into one um, I'm gonna out route my running back and then I've got this little drag coming across so I've got nice check down reads here quick reads for the blitz I've got this streak clearing everything out and then you'll notice that this post will get over the top now another little kind of concept that I can do with this is a motion slant I'm gonna show you what that looks like here in just a second off of that same motion what we're going to do is we're going to streak Devontae Adams. We're going to in route our running back. And then we're going to slant by a scantling. We're going to bring him across the formation. We want him to set his feet. And then we're going to snap the ball. And what you're going to see is now we have this little slant that we can throw kind of on the sideline right about there. Really, really nice little route that you can utilize against this defense. Um, so you can kind of do whatever you want in the check down department. Um, just kind of something to pull the user. So all we're trying to do is to pull the user. So um, another one of my favorite little reads here is to hitch Valdez Scantling in route Jones, streak Adams, and block the tight end. What you'll see is I've got this hitch concept on the right that if they're not going to put a vert hook over there, I can easily throw that against every defense in this game. And then let's say they're going to run some man-to-man. -man. The running back in routes always, all year long has been one of the best routes against man-to-man. -man. You'll see that's nothing different here from Bunch. You see once he cuts, he is going to beat man. Of course, if I get screamed at, then, you know, it is what it is. But um, but anyways, you've got the running back route against man. Okay, so I'll show it to you again. This running back route. Boom, boom. Obviously, I have the post. Obviously, I have the, the, um, the fade against cover zero. But as you can see... That's the key beauty route. Love that route against man-to-man, -man. okay? So now, um, a couple other things that we can do with this. 
uh, with this concept. One of my favorite ones is this next setup that I'm going to show you. It's really good if they're trying to run any kind of match coverage. It's going to basically, again, it's going to turn off their match coverage. This is one of my favorite concepts in the game. And all we're going to do is we're going to block our tight end. We're going to streak Devontae Adams. And then I like to flat the slot receiver. And I'm going to we uh, re-wheel this um, running back. And you see I've got this little flat wheel concept here on the back side. And then I've got this really nice post that still is going to get over the top of the 30-yard cloud. So they have to go user the wheel. And then they also have to guard the post. And there's no match coverage in the game that will be able to work effectively against that setup. So that's another um, kind of concept that I really like out of this. There's so many things you can do with this post route. Um, I really do think it's one of the more underrated routes in this game. I like to smart route it if I can. Um, another thing that you can do, again, um, is the running back angle route. If you have backfield mismatch or master, you'll be able to, you can kind of run a little running back angle route outside the backfield. The flat to the tight end this year is so good. And so one thing that you might consider is something like this. Um, this is a running back streak with a smoke screen. And then I like to hitch this guy. This is a five out setup. Your running back streak is really good. See how it gets in, in between all the zones, but it still is going to pull that deep zone and kind of let you sneak that in right there, especially if you had a deep out elite right there. That's a great route that you can sneak in. This is also really good against man. I, I showed you the running back route, but I didn't show you the other route. Um, and that is the post route to circle. So let me show you that real quick. And again, if you want to get the full Gun Bunch offensive ebook, there is a link in the description um, where you can get the whole thing. Um, the beauty of this 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 offense is that you can beat everything, and you can get over every zone. You can get to you can attack every angle, every area of the field. You can get to with this. Obviously, you got your fade if he does get separation. But look at the post. See how that post just crushes man to man and is able to get open for you. So this is, again, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite concepts in this game. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get the full Gun Bunch offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link in the description below, and you can go check that out. Head over to the Patreon. Remember, by joining the membership, you get access to everything all year long, all the ebooks, everything. So it's only $10 to sign up for that. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. So head on down to the description below and click on that Patreon link.